ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू सिमुलेट ए सिंपल एस सी आर और इन ओल्ड टाइम्स दे आर कॉल्ड एज दी थायरिस्टर विद इन दी मल्टीसिम फॉर इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मस्ट नो ए लिटल बिट अबाउट दी थायरिस्टर और एस सी आर they just used to behave like transistors or other semiconductor devices but they are very much known for their latent action just like if you give any sort of signal to any transistor if the signal is there the transistor will conduct and when this signal is removed the transistor then do not use to conduct or just acts as an open switch but that is not the case with the thyristor when there is signal when there is signal it used to conduct and even if you remove the signal after that there isn't any sort of effect on the scr like it used to latch or it do not stop conduction so let's uh, start making the circuit first we will take our dc power supply or don't take dc power uh, we will just take vcc okay it is also dc power but with simple terminal so we will take vcc and vcc after vcc we need to take ground and after ground we will go for our scr so we will go to all groups and we will take our scr After a CR, we will take 470 ohm resistor. So you must go for 470 ohm resistor. So or take any resistor, and then we will reduce its value. Click on A, and this over. Resistor. Now we need to double-click the resistor. Uh, we cannot change the value of this resistor. Okay. So we will do one thing. We will go to basic. We will go for our resistor option, and here we will get our 470 ohm resistor. And in the last, we need one dip switch. Okay, so this is the dip switch. Okay, we we have all the components that are necessary for to run the thyristor. Okay, first uh, connect the one side or one terminal of the dip switch with the VCC, and the other end with the gate of the thyristors, and VCC with the anode terminal or we can say it is yeah anode terminal of the SCR. 470 ohm is for x is like a we can say load yes we can say it is a load type resistance and ground with the other end of the 470 ohm resistor now we will see with the multimeter that either on both sides of the resistor either we are getting some voltage first when there isn't any sort of signal on the gate terminal there isn't any sort of voltage on uh this 470 ohm resistor are very uh, minute like in microvolts or like uh something like that but after the scr starts conduction we will see around 5 volt on the multimeter so let's start the simulation here we can see that uh, on resistor the scr is off it acts like the open switch and there is just 469.9 microvolt means that it's around about 0 volt we can say now when we will press the switch switch pressing simply means that the signal the 5 volt signal is just uh, linked to the gate terminal of the scr okay now yeah and you can see that now we got our 5 volt after getting 5 volt or after the conduction starts 
and it behaves like the close switch dsr then then it 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 goes into the latch section like a one, once it starts conduction it is not going to stop via gate we cannot control it via gate so this is called as the latching action of the thyristor or scr so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use the scr or thyristor within the multisim so thanks for visiting our channel